So let me ask you a question. Do you think a guy 30 to 40 pounds overweight purposely puts together an outfit that makes him look more fat? Or let's take a skinny guy. Do you think he purposely puts together an outfit that makes him look like he hasn't eaten for a month? The answer is they don't know how to dress for their body type. And in today's video, I'm covering five body shapes and how to dress for them. Body shape number one, the triangle. What we see with the triangle body shape is that the lower part of the body is larger in proportion to the upper part of the body. Now, of all the body shapes, the triangle body shape, in my opinion, is the one that benefits most from the choice of clothing. In particular, we want to build up the shoulders. So the first specific item that I recommend for any man with a triangle body shape is a jacket. We're talking sports jacket, blazer jackets, suit jackets, anything with a shaped shoulder going to make you look stronger, going to make you look taller, make you look more square up on the upper body. And if that's too formal for you guys, there's tons of other options on the casual side. We've got leather jackets, fatigue jackets, denim jackets, a wide variety of jackets that you can throw on. Even a shirt jacket is going to give you a bit more of a silhouette right here on the shoulder points. Again, just simply going to make your shoulders look more pronounced and that's what we're looking to do here. And another advantage of a jacket, especially a suit jacket or a sports jacket paired with trousers of a similar color is it creates a monochromatic look. This is important because it allows the eyes to go up and down. We don't get caught in that midsection area. It creates a sleeker, a taller, a thinner looking silhouette. So if jackets aren't your thing, let's talk about shirts. First off, the shirts that you want to avoid. A close fitted t-shirt, a close fitted polo. Why do you want to avoid these short sleeve t-shirts? Because they're going to draw attention to the contrast with your arm and the shirt and basically draw attention to your upper body area. If it's fitted close, it's oftentimes going to fit you closer in and around the waist area and the hip area than it will the torso. Again, this is going to exaggerate the fact that you've got a triangle shaped body. So what type of shirts to look for? You want longer sleeve shirts that can be ironed. And I'm saying can be ironed because anything that can be ironed, in a sense, can create a bit of structure and that's what you're looking to do again on the upper body. You're not going to create as much of a silhouette and a structure on the shoulders as you would with a jacket, but you can come close. And there are actually styles of shirts out there that have epaulets that maybe you're going to have the double breast pockets, which can build up the chest area, can build up the shoulders just a bit. And why the long sleeves? It always looks better for this body type. And if it's hot weather outside, guys, just simply roll up the sleeves to the top of your forearm. This is going to be a much better look than a short sleeve shirt. Now let's talk about dressing your lower body. So shorts. Shorts for this body type are very difficult to pull off. I get it. If you're going to the beach, going to the pool, of course, wear shorts. But in most other situations, you want to look for an alternative to shorts. When we're dressing the lower body for the triangle body shape, talking about jeans, trousers, pants, we want the lines to go up and down. What we don't want to do here is overly taper. A lot of fashions nowadays, they're trying to create this tapered bottom. You want to be careful because with the triangle body shape, what this can unfortunately do is create a diamond. That's not what we want. For the triangle body shape, the straight cut is going to be your friend. Now, really quick, I want to share with you a hack to lengthen your leg line. Okay. Do you notice the difference? Look at the guy on the left. Do you notice how his leg line looks longer because his belt matches his trousers? For the vast majority of body types out there, you're going to want to elongate your leg line because it's going to make you look taller. It's going to make you look leaner and stronger. And as we're talking about belts, gentlemen, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Anson Belt and Buckle. Gents, for over seven years, I've been using Anson Belt and Buckle. I love what they're doing, but really it comes down to three things. First up, let's look at their selection. You go on their website and you can find any color, almost any material you're looking for. Yes, they even have vegan straps if you're looking for it. And the options when it comes to their buckles, guys, they've got you covered. Whether you want silver, you want gold, you've got bronze, all of their buckles are removable from the straps. So you could have three straps, you could have three different buckles, you've got nine different belt combinations. Next up, I love their micro adjust system. So notice no belt holes. That's because they adjust to the quarter of an inch. Belt holes every inch. This is an amazing fitting belt. And next up, let me talk about their customer service. So they got a lifetime guarantee. They got free shipping within the United States. And gents, don't even get me started about their amazing gift boxes. Absolutely love this. It's going to fit almost any guy. And look, you get the three different buckles, two straps, or you can have three straps, two buckles, six belt combinations. This is the perfect gift for any guy that's hard to get things for. Gents, I'm linking Anson Belt and Buckle down in the description of this video. Go check them out. An amazing company. I've watched this business grow. I am so proud to support them. The next body shape is the inverted triangle, the V shape. And for a lot of people, they're like, wow, this is the ideal shape. You've got the big, large shoulders. You've got the tapered waist. 
This body type is actually a nightmare when it comes to clothing. Unfortunately, you're going to have to pay the tailor tax because this is a body type that very few manufacturers make any clothing that's going to fit you even remotely well because there's usually it's going to fit you in the shoulders, that shirt, but it's going to have way too much material in the torso. You got to take it to a tailor to get adjusted. If you can afford it and if you are really, maybe you wear suits all the time, look to custom clothing. This is going to be your best option. So, the key with the V shaped body is that you want to make sure you don't over exaggerate any parts of your body which are in a sense already overbuilt. In particular, the shoulders and the arms. If you wear a suit jacket that has a lot of padding in and around the shoulders, you're going to end up looking like a linebacker. Why is this a bad thing? Because you're up there to give a presentation, not have people saying like, wow, this guy looks really like a cartoon character. And that's the key with this body type, not hiding your well-built body, but making sure it doesn't distract from the message you're trying to get across. So, my favorite piece of menswear for the V-shaped body is going to be the sweater, especially a little bit of a V-neck sweater right here. This does not hide your body. It makes you look great. It has a little bit of stretch in and around the shoulders, the chest, and the arm area. People are going to be able to see this guy looks great. He's in shape. So, this body type can pull off any type of shirt, but again, you want to be careful and manage distractions. Do you want to go for that short sleeve shirt which is going to draw everyone's attention to your arms? Again, if you want the focus up here on your mind and what you're saying, you want to maybe wear the long sleeve shirt. Now, you can roll it up. Again, go up to the mid forearm. That's always a great look. You want to go for small repeating patterns. You want to go for solids. That's going to be your safe area. Don't go for large patterns. Large patterns are not going to work with this body build. You can also look at long sleeve polos, even short sleeve polos, again, made from a high quality material that have a very luxurious drape, I think are going to look good for this body type. And again, t-shirts can look great. Remember, they're ultra casual. They can be distracting in some environments, but if you're going to go for a solid color with a non-graphic tee, maybe with a v-neck, fits you well, looks good. Now, let's talk about the lower body type of the V-shaped individual. You need to be careful of certain things. One, when it comes to shorts, never wear shorts that are overly long. This is just simply going to make your legs look smaller and shorter. You do not want this. So, actually go maybe for a shorter inseam. We're talking 5 inches. We're talking 7 inches. Maybe look to tropical weight wool trousers, especially those that are going to have a nice drape. This overall is going to make your legs look better and I think it's a more professional look. You can pull this off with a polo shirt. Shirt, I think this is a much better look than going with the shorts. And let's talk about chinos. Let's talk about dress pants. Let's talk about jeans. You're going to be looking for a straight cut. You can lean towards the slim cut, but what you want to be careful of in avoid is the skinny cut. This does not look good for this body type. Again, it makes that lower body look even smaller. Now, when we're looking at the shoes, we're looking at the footwear. I really like to build up the feet here. So, if you're going to be wearing a suit, go for something that has a good year welt, something that has a little bit of build, a little bit of oomph to it. Boots. I think boots are a must muscular man's best friend. They're going to make you a little bit taller which is going to lean you up and they are usually a little bit larger in their build and overall the size. Next, we've got the rectangle body shape. Your shoulder, your hips, your waist, they're all going to be about the same up and down. We're going to see this body type on slight or slender framed men. Now, this is not a bad body shape. One of the more common ones we're going to see out there. So, the advantage for the rectangle body shape is that the vast majority of clothing out there is actually made to fit his body. Now, the problem though for guys with this body shape is that they want to change it up a bit. They want to build up their shoulders, slim up their waist, create a more masculine look. You can do this with a jacket. As I've discussed, any type of jacket will build up the shoulders, but also having a sweater, a jumper that has a line going across that builds up the chest area. I've got another sweater that's got a shoulder patch. That right there is going to draw attention. Now, another option for this body type is to build up the V right here in the chest. You can choose that by going with a V-neck sweater, V-neck shirts. Now, another option for this body type is to learn to layer correctly. As you can tell, I put on a jacket. What does this do? It actually physically did make my upper body a bit more. It added a bit more weight, but notice here, the depth that I've created. Literally, by having this jacket here, we've got then the sweater that goes in and then under that we've got this. This right here creates a three-dimensional look and it just makes the person look a little bit larger. And again, jackets, I've talked about this, builds up the shoulders. Now, as I've mentioned, shorts for any body type, they're not going to do you any favors. But if you're going to go with shorts, avoid the cargo shorts. Go for something that's going to have a little bit of a closer cut. Make sure that the inseam doesn't go beyond nine inches. And if you're shorter, maybe look at seven, even five inches. Again, you want something that's going to fit well. And when it comes to trousers, jeans, chinos, you want to go for a regular or a slim 
cut. Don't go skinny and don't go overly loose and go for a little bit of a taper. It works well for this body type. Next up, we've got the oval body shape. And for this body shape, your midsection is larger than your shoulders or your hips. Now, I'm not going to lie, gents. This is a tough body shape to dress for. And there's no outfit that's going to make a guy like this look thin. But what I can help you do with these tips is to look large and in charge versus fat and sloppy. That's what we want to avoid. We want the eyes to go up and down. We do not want to get caught anywhere in the midsection. So if you are wearing clothing that has a high contrast between your upper body and your lower body, and we're being drawn to your midsection, that's the mistake. You've got to stop shooting yourself in the foot. You've got to wear monochromatic looks. You've got to wear clothing that's going to bring it all together. So the first piece of clothing I'm going to recommend for a larger guy, and this requires confidence, a nice hat a good piece of headwear. This right here is just going to level up your style. People are going to look at you and like, yeah, you can't hide the size of your body. But what you can send the message of is I care about how I look. In addition, hats make you look taller. The next thing I want to talk about is your footwear. You want to bring up a bit of height there. Go for a pair of boots. Go for a pair of shoes that have a bit of a heel. Something that has a bit of shine, we're going to be drawn and our attention is going to look at those shoes. You've just elongated your overall look. Now, this next detail isn't a particular clothing item, but it applies to your shirts, it applies to your jackets, it applies to your accessories. Make sure that you pay attention to proportion. If you've got a nice watch, if you're wearing a shirt, that you don't have a shirt with collars that are too small for the proportion of your body. So, you want to look in particular for shirts that have larger collars. You want to look for jackets that have wider lapels. You want to look for a watch that's going to be a bit larger. All of these particular details, they do measure up and you want to make sure the clothing proportionally looks right on your body. So, in a little bit more detail, let's talk about lines, let's talk about patterns. So, for this body shape, you want to avoid any lines going across. So, a window pane pattern on a suit, you do not want to wear it with this body type. You want to go instead for a solid looking suit. It's going to just work, allow the eyes to go up and down. Now, when it comes to shirts, I do think a pinstripe, a candy stripe, or a bangle stripe, even a little bit thicker of a stripe, works well for this body type when it comes to shirts. And when it comes to patterns, small repeating patterns are great. Medium sized patterns are okay, but avoid larger size patterns. And when it comes down to particular clothing styles, formal clothing rules when it comes down to making this body type look better. Why? Well, let's look at the jacket. Again, builds up the shoulders, but also the length of the jacket. So, it's going to cover the buttocks. And when we look at the transition of the body, we're looking at a guy right there, that length of the jacket is going to allow the eyes to go up and down. In addition, formal trousers historically went up to the natural waist. Nowadays, they're a bit more difficult to find, but I would recommend if you're having issues with keeping your trousers up, even look to get these custom made. Use suspenders with them. They're going to, it's just a much more elegant way to wear trousers and you're not going to have to pull them up throughout the day. The next body shape and oftentimes considered to be the ideal body shape is the trapezoid. A trapezoid body shape has well-developed shoulders and chest and it has about a six to eight inch drop down to the waist and the hip area. Now, this body type is relatively easy to dress. What you want to pay attention to here is finding the right brands that are going to have slim cuts, athletic cuts that are naturally going to fit your body. You've probably grown up buying clothing that's ill-fitted and you're not even taking it to get adjusted. So, first off, if you've got a closet of clothing, you like the look of it, take it to a tailor. You will be amazed all of a sudden when they slim up the waist area, whenever they make those sleeves a little bit shorter and it looks, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, wow. I actually am able to show off this amazing body that I've got. And if you're not happy with the clothing, you're looking to rebuild your wardrobe, consider going and spending a little bit more money to buy those specialty clothing types that come with the athletic fit, with come with that cut where they've got the drop that's going to naturally fit your shirts, where they've got the pants that are going to have a little bit more streamlined look going down the leg. So, for this body type, it's really about not being so lazy or indifferent to your style that you don't take your clothing to a tailor to get it adjusted to look a bit better or not making one of those stupid fashion mistakes, which I've talked about in some of my other videos. And how to avoid making those stupid style mistakes? Guys, check out this video right here, the 10 style rules that every man needs to know. I'm going to link to it down in the description. Go check out this video next.